going on guys excuse my nasally voice i'm still getting over a cold but i'm out here and today's main goal is flounder i'm out here at the inlet and we're gonna try maybe two or three different things today a couple of different rigs the first one i'm gonna use is a modified carolina rig looks like this and what i'm gonna do with this rig is i'm gonna jig vertically along these rocks hoping to find some flounder hugged up against the bank on this incoming tide and afterwards i'm gonna hit the grass islands just across the river over there and hopefully on this incoming tide there'll be some flounder up against the grass lines and if that doesn't work we're gonna head into the little creeks so stay tuned hope these setups work today uh, my goal is to get a limit see you guys when i start catching So this is what I'm using for my vertical jigging. I got a Carolina rig with maybe like a three quarter ounce egg sinker. And to that I got tied like a 14 inch, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And at the end, I have tied on a light jig head. This is one eighth ounce. I didn't have any one sixteenth. That's what I really wanted, but this should work too. And we're just gonna put a white gope on there today. look a little bit something like this so since the current is a little stronger out here water's a little deeper that's why I'm using this rig and what I'm gonna do is kind of flow with the tide and just jig up and down vertically in the water column we're gonna try closer to the rock line and we're gonna try further out to see what depth they're at okay we'll just start right here we're almost at the beginning of the rock line so what I'm gonna do is just drop it straight down. <clears throat> Make sure you're in the bottom. Okay, we're gonna bounce it lightly up and down like this. Always stay in, in contact with the bottom gonna slowly work our way along this rock line and when you think you're snagged that's when you might have to have a fish on we got our first one guys yeah there we go all right so the plan worked small one though <laughs> Too small guys. Let's try that again. little update guys the rocks didn't produce much one little flounder now I'm heading over to these grass islands Let's see how it goes so this is just uh, basically a huge shallow flat with a bunch of grass islands spread around so I'm just gonna go to my regular jig head a little soft plastic just gonna toss it up against the grass line see how it goes Flounder on, guys. I think it's a small one. Oh, well, maybe a keeper. I don't know 
out, guys. It's gonna be close. Just give them a measure. Fourteen and a half. It's a keeper, guys. <coughs> Got one on, guys. <clears throat> oh, small one. Oh, this feels like a good one, guys. Just let him eat it. He's on. No, not a keeper either. Too dang small. Got a flounder on, guys. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a keeper. Keeper guys. Look the flounder guys. Uh. Oh damn. I think he was too small anyways. <coughs> so another one guys. This one feels good. It's a keeper. I'm 
think it's a big one. It's a small one. But, got another one. Yep, too small. Flounder on, guys, I think. Oh, that was a crab. Catch a fish off this oyster mound right here. <clears throat> Guarantee it. Definitely too small. Finding them though, caught nothing but flounder today. Flounder on, guys. Good one. that out guys good fish good fish <clears throat>
this could be my limit guys this could be my limit <coughs> yeah i think this is a keeper for sure Quick measure. Almost 15 and a half. And that completes my five limit, my five flounder limit. Let's get a picture of this guy and we can head home. 